All right, hello and welcome to my first tutorial. This is gonna be about texture shadows. So texture shadows is what is going to enable a prop to cast a shadow based on its transparency map. So as you can see, this uh, model of a grate has a transparency map for its texture, which uh, allows you to see through the small squares. Currently, it is not using texture shadows, so that is what's causing it to just cast that big blob of a shadow behind it. So if I go in this other room I made over here, this is what you're going to see when texture shadows is enabled on a prop. It's going to cast proper shadows through the transparency map in the texture. Now let's open up Hammer and I'll show you some parameters that you can add to your run compile which will enable it. So now I'm going to open my uh, texture shadows tutorial map and the first thing I want to do is I want to go to run map and then you'll see that I'm in the advanced configurations so if you're in the normal you just want to click on expert now typically you're gonna to want to go to your HDR full compile final configuration and then under compile run commands click on light underscore exe now over here under parameters it's gonna list out everything that it's going to compile and uh, there's some special parameters in here that I've added for texture shadows. The first one being this lighting underscore egg dot rad file. That is simply a custom text file saved as dot rad, which inside of it specifies um, some commands and the model directory of which models I want texture shadows to affect. And then, oh, oh I will show you that in a moment. But, um, and then you want dash texture shadows. That's just all one word, dash texture shadows. So you got lighting underscore egg dot rad, but yours can be named whatever you want. It just has to be dot rad. And then you're going to have dash texture shadows. Now I'm going to open up uh, that rad file that I just showed you your rad file is always going to be located in your game directory so here's my lighting underscore dot rad file so in order to create one of these like I said just create a new text document so you can just type blah 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 whatever and then you can do file save as so I'll say test and then click on all files and make sure you save it as dot rad and then there we have a new .rad file but I'm just gonna open up the one I already got and then you'll see in here I have lines and at the beginning of each line it's gonna say force texture shadow all is one word and then it's gonna have a space and then it's gonna list the directory of the model that I want texture shadows to affect so you just make sure to add one line for each model and then at the end of at the end of it, you also want to you want to make sure to have dot MDL it stands for dot model. So without dot model, it's not going to work. So I want to find that model that I showed you in the tutorial that's currently not having texture shadows affected. Right now, I got uh, two uh, slashes in front of it to cancel it out. It is the Great Floor 03. So I'm just going to delete those. So now it says Force Texture Shadow, and then the directory of the model. I'm going to file save that. Uh, close that out. Open Hammer back up. And then I'm going to go in to run in Expert. And then just quickly, briefly go over again what I already showed you. So after lights, I'm going to have lighting egg.rad. But yours can be named whatever you want. Just make sure that you have dot rad at the end of it. And then I'm going to have dash texture shadows. Now I'm going to compile this and it's going to take a moment. Alright, the map is loaded up and Texture Shadows is now projecting off of this model. So it's pretty much as easy as that. Um, a few troubleshooting notes. Uh, you want to make sure that you have no grammatical errors. That means you make sure to have no typos. You want to have .rad saved as your .rad file instead of just a normal text file. You also want to make sure to have .rad at the end of your rad file name in your compile log or compile parameter I guess 
you want to make sure to have dash texture shadows you don't want to forget that that's what tells it to do it and uh, if you're not seeing it at first but you think it might be working make sure to turn down your light map scale currently I have the light map scale set at 1 which is pretty extreme but it's just for the test usually you can see it pretty easily at 5 or 6 so uh, that shouldn't be an issue uh, the best way to get the effect of the texture shadow is to use a light spot instead of just a regular light um, that will greatly increase uh, how how good it looks I guess you could say and uh, currently this is just a prop static with no other settings on it it's just a plain old prop static you can use a prop dynamic though as well um, as far as I know prop physics will work I don't think I've ever used them though but uh, I would highly recommend against it because after your prop moves it's uh, it's probably just gonna leave the shadow there and your props gonna be missing so uh, it'll look weird um, but yeah um, if you have any questions uh, just uh, post a comment I uh, hope this tutorial didn't go too quickly um, it's my first one so I hope I explained everything pretty well and uh, alright thanks for watching